So far, it's just been a war of words. Could things actually escalate into an actual war between the U.S. and Iran? Mike Gooding spoke with one local scholar who is very concerned. My feeling more than anything else is you have an administration debating with itself. They don't know. Just how dedicated is the White House to a military response to what officials have decided was an Iran-based attack on Saudi Arabian oil fields? Secretary of Defense Mark Esper says the U.S. is preparing to deploy troops, although the number, destination, and mission of those troops hasn't been spelled out, except that their presence, it is said, will be defensive in nature focused on air and missile defense capabilities. It's not given the United States would win. Everything depends how much force the United States is willing to commit. Old Dominion University Political Science Department senior lecturer Aaron Karp says things could get ugly. Any time you're talking about the threat of war, and in this case you're talking about major war, you need to also think that your major war requires major forces. He says the United States, if it is going to war, needs to go in wholeheartedly. If you're facing off a country with a population of 75 million, then you better send major forces. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.